All right, this problem is saying to solve the system with the addition method. Now, although um, since you're just typing your answers in, the computer doesn't know if you're doing addition or some other method. Um, but it is important to know the addition method regardless. Um, so when I look at this one, um, there's various things I could do. The idea is to eliminate either the x or y after you add them. So one thing we could do is multiply the top row by negative 10 and the second row by um, 9. So let me show you what happens when we do that. I just put my parenthesis in the wrong spot. Now you're actually distributing all the way through. A common mistake is to not distribute um, to the other, other side of the equal sign. And then we're going to do positive 9. And if you are thinking ahead a little bit, you'll see that the top row will be negative 90, the bottom will be positive 90. And of course, when you add a number and its opposite together, you get zero, and that's what we want. Okay, so if we do the multiplication here, put a little line, we get negative 90x plus 100y equals 50, and positive 90x plus 63y and then I'll use my calculator, 9 times 78, and it's negative, so it's minus 702. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add those two rows together. So, um, 50 plus a negative 702 is negative 652. 100 plus 63 would be 163y. And negative 90 plus 90 is 0. So this is gone now. And all you need to do to solve for y is divide both sides by 163. So y would be negative 652 divided by 163. And that works out to be negative 4. And then you can go in to find x um, by putting y back into either equation. Um, so I'm going to put it into the first one. So it's 9x minus 10 times negative 4 equals negative 5. So that's 9x plus 40 equals negative 5. And then if I subtract 40 on both sides, I get 9x equals negative 45. And of course, x would be negative 5. So in this box, you put negative 5, or in that line, your x value, and then your y value, negative 4. Of course, you can always plug both numbers into both equations to make sure that you are correct. I hope that helps. Um, of course, I multiplied the top by negative 10 and the bottom by 9. Another alternative is to get rid of the y's, you can multiply the top by 7 and the bottom by 10. And that will wipe out the y's so you can solve for x. It does not matter which one you do.